Hi. Sorry. Hello. It's been a while since I've seen you. Um, and you've probably been wondering, Gabrielle, what have you been up to? Where have you gone? Have you done a lot of worky things, you know? And the truth is, I have done absolutely nothing. And it's made me feel like shizzle is. It has. I feel like I personally feel like I'm the most productive and successful when I'm when I'm going, right? I feel like I'm doing something right when I'm constantly like running on adrenaline and stressing out and doing a bunch of things. Um, because I haven't been in that state, I feel like my life is crumbling and maybe I'm a failure. And then I realized upon self-reflection that maybe I'm uncomfortable with the quiet, which is weird because I just assumed me and my personality type, I would be more than comfortable with sitting in silence and having my life being quiet, but I'm actually not because we are taught that so much of our success is determined on how crazy and chaotic our lives are. And then when it's not, you're like, am I doing something wrong? You're not. We're constantly comparing ourselves to other people. I do this all the time. I compare myself to other people, especially who have the same job as I do, because of like, oh, well, they're here and I'm doing this. Is there something wrong? And that's a good question. I don't know. Constantly been comparing myself, feeling like I'm just a failure of an influencer because I'm not interesting. But the truth is, all I wanna do is cuddle up with a maternity pillow and knit. Anyways, <laughs> glad I got that off my chest. It's okay if your life is slow. It's okay if your life seems mundane and repetitive and a little bit boring, that's okay. It's completely normal. I think the challenging part is finding comfortability in the silence. And I found it in this pregnancy pillow, I really did. Even though I'm nowhere near close to ever being ready um, to having a child. I am a child, that's another thing I've, I've known. <gasps> the stitch. Hold up, hold up. That's something else I've noticed. I feel like people back in the day when they were 27, they were adults and I'm 27 and I'm quite literally a child. Wherever you are in your life, you are doing great. I know it's easy to compare yourselves to other people and think why, am, why do they get to do this and I don't, but social media is a facade. A lot of people that you think are living these insane lives, they're probably not. And people that you think have money, they probably don't. I decided to knit today because I've realized I had, I have so many interests and so many hobbies that I just gave up on completely. Like I loved reading, I loved knitting, I loved coloring. Um, I just feel like when I was younger, I was so much more interesting and also interested in so many things. And now I just feel like the life has kind of been drained from my soul. And every day I wake up so tired and all I wanna do is lie still. But I decided I'm going to knit with you. And yes, I started this like two years ago. See, that's the thing, I had so many hobbies and I just lost interest. But I decided that maybe at some point this week I'm gonna go on a walk and journal. Who is she? I know. Oh my gosh, wait, there was this comment that I received not that long ago. I remember I was getting my hair fixed because I didn't like my curtain bangs and this girl looked at my hair <laughs> And she did a great job, by the way. Like, she fixed my hair, and she was really sweet, but she looked at my hair, and she was like, did you want your highlights to look like this? And I was like, 
yes, I paid for them to look like this. And she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, is there something wrong with them? And she goes, no, I mean, if that's what you want, do you not like them? And she was like, no, I'm just honest. Um, ma'am, I just wanted my curtain bangs touched up. I wasn't asking for um, a roast. She roasted my self-esteem and I left there quite confused, quite perplexed. Also, I've been getting asked a lot by random people if I've gotten lip filler or if I get lip filler. Um, these are my natural lips. I feel like a broken record. These are my natural lips. Not that there's anything wrong if you do get filler, but I do have and always have had a naturally big mouth. It's why I'm always in trouble. I was constantly getting in trouble growing up because I just never knew how to shut it. So no, I have not gotten filler. I think it's weird when people just straight up ask you like, have you gotten work done? I'm like, no, I'm a child. I just feel like that's such a personal question. Not that there's anything wrong with getting things done, but I feel like that's just private. That's just something you don't ask people in public. Unless you're asking it to be nice, like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, you look great, what do you do? That's different, but when you're straight up like, you get filler. Um, no, but um, love that you think I pay to look like this. This is just what the good Lord gave me. Anyways. Let's wrap this up. Basically, it's okay if your life feels very mundane and repetitive and you feel a bit confused. You don't need to compare yourself to other people because they're probably doing the exact same thing and everything's a facade. Everything. Another thing is don't give people weird comments because they will go home and crawl into a pregnancy pillow and dwell on it while failing to knit. So that's what I have for you this evening, but I love you a lot and I wish you all the happiness in the world. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you so much for sitting with me, knitting with me, chilling with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.